I'm going on a road trip. I'm eating leftover pizza. I bought a fancy new thing to hold my phone up so I can talk to you while I'm driving. Don't know if I'm allowed, but it's when I have most of my great ideas or my little rants that just going through traffic work. Traffic works. Fucking road works, dickhead. Oh, going on a road trip. You'll find out when I get there where I'm going. I've got a little story I need to tell you. Story time. So I'll just insert it here. Do you know, today's just been one of them days where it don't really matter what I do, I fucking hate everybody. Walked into Iceland and this little old lady was, she's got to be at least in her early 70s. She walked up my arse all the way around Aldi, she stood on the back of my shoe she knocked my basket twice and then turned round and tutted at me like it was my fault. And I just thought, do you know if you went 80, I'd fucking drop kick you. I wouldn't, but that's how I felt. All the way, walking around Iceland, this little old lady was up my arse. And Adam could see me getting annoyed. And he's going, are you alright? We'll be out of here soon, don't worry. So we get out of Iceland and I am ready to lose my fucking shite. I'm angry, I'm sweating and I'm, then I'm taking it out on Adam because I'm that annoyed and I can't calm down. I'm biting and shouting at him and I'm like, I'm ever so sorry. I know it's not your fault. So we walked into Aldi and I've got the trolley. So I'm walking behind the trolley and I walked into Aldi and this woman... I'm going to remove the spectacles for effect. She went. And I thought, who the fuck are you looking at like that? You and my head just exploded. I stood at the trolley. I was gripping the trolley like it was a fucking roller coaster at Alton Towers. Not that I'm scared of roller coasters, I fucking love them, but you get my drift. I'm stood just as you walk into Aldi in the little fucking super six veg for cheap whatever whatever it's called you know what i mean so i'm stood there and i am pale i've got tears in my eyes and it was just the biggest anxiety attack i have had in poof, a good four months and it was all to do with one little old lady and i tried to give it benefit of doubt obviously i work with a blind lady so i thought she might have vision problems but no, because the bloke went, I don't know what a fucking name we're, we'll call her Margaret for the sake of this. Margaret, do you want some nuggets? And she went, ah! Turns round, this is while she's walking up my arse, turns round and goes into the fucking freezer to get the nuggets out. So at this point I'm thinking, well there's no fucking wrong with her vision. And I'm getting annoyed and annoyed. And then after I'd like fucking lost my shit in Aldi and my life just fell out of my arse. I had to walk around Aldi looking at the floor and then I got home and I thought to myself that lady's probably got dementia Tam you've worked in care you know what people are like but it was just the fact that she was walking up my arse all the way around Aldi Aldi fucking Iceland and she'd got a bloke with her so it's like mate support her if you're a PA your job is to assist, so assist her from walking up my horse. So yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of an update about my experience in Aldi and this little old lady that, I must have smelt really nice, I don't know. She just must have took a shine to me because as soon as I got in there, it was like she just went, boom! I'm gonna stick with her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm at that little old lady just really wanted to get on my nerves. I mean, it weren't her fault. It was her fault for walking up my arse, but it weren't her fault. Ah, lost me crisps. You bellend. Fucking taxi just pulled in front of me. Stupid. What gets me? People pass a driving test, and then as soon as they get confident on road, they think they own it. Well, it's like you don't. We all own it. We all pay road tax. So just don't be a dick. 
Ocean Road. Eat your pizza. Don't be in yet. How are we all? Are we alright? Should really finish waiting until I have pizza. But don't have. We ordered Domino's last night and I literally just wanted the cookies. And Adam's going, oh it's two for Tuesday, it's two for Tuesday. Fucking loves it. Me, 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 I went, what do you get? He just looked at me like, two pizzas, Tammy. <laughs> He's like, you might as well get a large because I'm having a large. And I won't eat a large. I eat two slices of pizza, wedges, and my dessert. Why would I give up the best bit? Oh, good idea. here. Yes, I am. Why is it taking me to Matlock? I'm not going to Matlock. I don't go to way. I really hope my car makes it. <laughs> I'm sorry about the shake. Wow. I don't know why it's taking me down here. I've got a Peugeot 307. It cost me 400 quid. The bloke wanted 600 for it, but I'm like, no mate. I'm not paying that for it. He went, oh, it's had a new clutch. No, it hasn't. Fucking hell, duck. Outside at road. I used to drive for a living. Cheers, pal. I had a little blue micro and we went everywhere in that. Right, Bella. Mate, behind you! Honestly, some people are fucking stupid. I'm here. I found her. <laughs> We're going home now. Another two hour journey. See you in a bit. I am home. That was a four hour round, well, four, nearly five hour round trip. And I'm absolutely knackered. So I've got my dressing gown on. And this is what I will be doing for the rest of the day. Sat on my horse, with a cup of tea, probably watching Survivor. So yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea now and watch Survivor in my dressing gown. And we'll see what Paige makes me get up to. She wants me to go for a run in the morning. And if you know me, <laughs> I'll run anywhere. One, well, I've got tendonitis in my knees. <clears throat> Two, I've got no fitness level whatsoever. I'd run to the shop and I'm out of breath. So she thinks she's going to get me jogging or running tomorrow, which should be hilarious. So I'll probably film me dying. So I'll see you tomorrow. Depends what we get up to. Good morning. She didn't get me running. We come for a walk instead. <laughs> I did tell her I weren't running. Four and a half hour drive to take Paige home. 
Hello, baby. Hello. I'm trying to record this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, it's Friday. Set off at like half past ten. <sighs> Dropped off. Had a broom. Drove home. Look at it. What is this? <laughs> They're trying to suffocate me. So, yeah. Dropped Paige off at home. Came back. And... This is where I'm going to be for the rest of today. <laughs> Honestly, I can't get a minute's peace. So yeah, me and Luna will be here. Won't we, baby? Don't move my face. See, she's tired. She's not done out all day, but she's tired. <sighs> I will. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Baby. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go because I think somebody um, wants my attention. Look at that. What? <laughs> well, you know when a dog do this. Wants me to kiss her head. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> I also need to just shout out Nathan Penny, who has smashed my intro little animation and then the one at the end. So I will leave a link in the description if any of you want to go and check him out. He's on Instagram, so I'll pop that in the description. Thanks, Nay. Love you.